Hello, my name is Billy Martin and I'm the Chairman of the Bonnetot County Board of Supervisors. I'm pleased to be able to provide my third message to the residents and businesses of Bonnetot County during this COVID-19 emergency. Today I want to talk about the public hearings related to the county's budget and tax rates and answer some questions that came up during the hearings last night. These are unprecedented times for all of us. In the midst of all of this, your county's government still has deadlines to meet and state laws to follow as we seek to adopt a budget and continue serving the community. To meet these requirements, we have looked for ways to be innovative and accommodating while carrying out the county's business in an open and safe manner. Monday night, April 20th, was the first example of a virtual public hearing with board members and staff in various rooms and citizens listening and commenting either in person or by phone. It was definitely something new, but all rose to the occasion. That is why I want to thank everyone who attended or called into the hearing last night or who have provided written comments to us over the past week. I and the other board members appreciate the time and efforts made by all who have sought to participate in these ways. As a result of the uh, virtual meeting format and the other resources we have made available, we have more ways for citizens to provide comments to the board this year than in years past. This is a testament to the adaptability and flexibility of our citizens, board members, and staff during these unusual times. Instead of reducing opportunities for participation, we have increased public input. Between now and the county budget adoption date of June 23rd, we will be encouraging and accepting public comment by email, phone, through an online form, or by U.S. mail, and by direct or remote participation in public meetings. Despite our social distancing, there are more opportunities over a longer time period for public comment in this budget process than in any budget process before. We encourage you to take advantage of these opportunities and let us know what you think about the proposed budgets and tax rates. We need and want you to hear from as many of you as possible. Now I would like to address some questions that came up during the hearing last night. I know that I will not be able to provide answers to all, but I encourage you to reach out to board members and staff with any additional ones you may have. First, the Board of Supervisors understands the current COVID-19 situation and has no plans to increase the tax rate. I want you to realize that the Board listened to your comments at the public hearing last night and will be reviewing the comments even more prior to the budget adoption. The Board of Supervisors is working on multiple ways to assist the citizens through this health crisis. Second, I would like to address the issue of administrator salaries uh, in the budget document, each line item represents the total of that type of expenditure for an entire department. So when a salary and wages line lists a number, it is the total for all of the people working in that department. And in the example of the county administrator's budget, the large increase comes from moving personnel from one department to another. It is not a windfall raise or the county trying to hide something. It was accompanied by a decrease in the deputy county administrator's budget. And this is one way how we work hard every year to ensure that the right expenditures are being attributed to the right department for the sake of transparency. Just because it is transparent, though, does not mean it's easy to understand. The budget, by its very nature, is complicated. If you have questions, please ask us first before making assumptions. Behind every number in the budget is a detailed explanation. We may agree or disagree on whether or not to spend money on that item, but at least give us the opportunity to explain first. Lastly, I would like to address the Capital Improvement Plan, or CIP. As its name implies, it is an anticipated plan for spending. It is also a tool that we use to start thinking about estimating future projects that may or may not ever happen. Like all plans, it is not set in stone. 
Only those projects directly listed in the first year of the plan are slated to receive money. Everything else in years two through five are simply to give us and you an idea of possible projects that may be in the future. We redo the plan every year and some projects get added, some get moved up, some fall off. Some like the great way, gateway crossing items at the end. There is just an idea, an idea of what those projects could cost if or if a developer ever wanted to proceed with them. We believe in good planning and knowing what could come our way and the CIP is one of the ways that we do that. And as I conclude, I know that there are many other unanswered questions out there. I wish I had the time to provide detailed answers to everyone in this format. However, I encourage you to reach out to the board members and staff to ask those questions. If the first person you ask does not know the answer, I can guarantee that he or she will provide you with another person who will know the answer. The budget is a team effort and we all work hard to stay on top of it. Looking ahead, stay tuned for more updates from me and other county officials. Next week, the board will be holding its regular meeting on Tuesday, April the 28th with a public meeting beginning at 2 p.m. We will be using the same virtual format as we used with the public hearing Monday evening. I can assure you that the Board of Supervisors are not hiding from the public. However, we are working hard to keep all safe, follow the social distancing, and to lead by example. Now, the phone number to call in for the April, April regular Board of Supervisors meeting at 2 p.m. is 1-540-300-9500. When calling, you will be prompted to enter 875-778-POUND. Again, the call-in number is 1-540-300-9110, and the code is 875-778-POUND. Now, both the phone number and the code are posted on the county's website, which is bodotot.va.gov. Once on the line, you may make public comments at the appropriate time by following the prompts, and you can also provide written comments through the online form at boco.community. The call-in information and online form will be posted on the county's website, on social media pages, and in the newspaper. I thank each and every one of you for your continued efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19. Continue to practice social distancing and to follow health guidelines and state orders. Each of us, by doing our part, will help this emergency pass as quickly as possible. Thank you, and may God give us the wisdom as we work together through this time. God bless you, all of Botetourt County, our commonwealth, our nation, and our world. Thank you.